Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the world's first six bay OSSD Unraid NAS. Now, this is the Link Station N1. It comes pre installed with Unraid with a registered copy, uh, and you can upgrade that license if you want to a more advanced license. But it has a basic copy of Unraid which is registered. Also, this is what you can expect to get inside the kit when it comes out in release. You get your warranty, you're going to get some screws inside here and a little screwdriver for the drives to screw in uh, the SSDs. It does take NVMe drives as well, but it comes with all those screws. You'll get a plug for your particular country. This one is the UK. So I've got a UK version, a very low power uh, adapter here for the actual unit itself to run on. And the power on here is only at 12 volts at five amps, 60 watts, which is pretty good for a little adapter here. Got a barrel connector on the end and uh, what we're going to do is take a look in more detail at the link station itself so this is the actual link station very good build quality on this unit so if you're looking for a nas which is mechanical drive free then something like this is going to be right up your street on the front we have the power button and that nice brushed aluminium look here this is where your ssds will be there's two of them that can be populated in here we just have to click this down and populate those. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. Moving on around the sides, there's no uh, ports or anything on the side. Both sides are exactly the same. Moving on to the other side, pretty clear here as well. And moving on to the back, this is where all of the inputs are. We do have that audio input here, that HDMI uh, port here, and two USB 3.0 ports. And we have that 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, the power input there and there is a reset button on the back you can see the heat sink on the bottom there looking through the bottom of the actual unit itself on the bottom here as well this is where we will populate our nvme drives there's two bays here but there's four slots in this actual unit here so that's taken up to six slots four nvme drives and two ssd two point inch drives here you just unclip these and you can see we have two bays here there's a big thermal pad on here you do need to remove that blue sticker which i'll do a little bit later on but it's the tallest design for these particular nvme drive bays now these bays are not hot swappable but the two and a half inch ssd drive bays are you can swap those out uh, while it's on i wouldn't recommend it but it is hot swappable whereas these are not as you can see here it is tallest and you can put your drives in here the amount of storage you can populate in here is 20 terabytes but you do have those usb ports as well which you can use external storage to plug into it again inside here is a tallest design just clip it into position pull this back and push it down and it will clip the actual nvme here i have got a tripod in front of me so it's making it a bit more difficult than what it actually is it's very simple to install these so 20 terabytes is a, a fair bit of storage for a little small device like this it should run pretty quiet because it's a SSD, of course, and it's not going to have any sort of mechanical drives in here. And I'm just going to remove this other bay here and uh, populate this one as well. The price on this is around about $275 uh, US dollars. I'm not sure whether that's the final price, but that's a price I found online. So bear that in mind. Just going to populate this one here. The CPU on this one is the Celeron N5105. And it does have the Unraid server basic. Memory is 16 gigabytes. We do have Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 as well, which is a pretty decent feature to have. We also have a Type C port, which is on the front. I'll show you that in a second when I populate the 2.5 inch uh, SSD in here. But I'll show you that part in a second. Just let me get this one uh, installed and buttoned up, and we'll move on round to the front. But if you're looking for affordable, a NAS drive or even your own personal cloud storage then something like this is going to be very affordable if it is coming in at 275 US dollars on the front here you've got that power light and also that type c port here as well and we do have some led lights on the front to show you the drives are populated just need to clip this out and uh, it is a lot easier than what I'm making it here I do have a tripod in front of me it does come with the screws that are included so you can populate the drives and you do need to screw them in here and again you don't have to use four screws for an ssd but two screws should be adequate for that i'm going to quickly populate this to show you here and then we can uh, fire this up 
and uh, take a look at Unraid and you'll be able to customize it to your own liking. It's got Docker on here. It's got everything you need to have this up and running, whether you want to install Plex or whether you want to just share files across the network, back up all your computer or all of your phone, it will be all backed up onto this drive. So I'm just going to quickly screw these down and we can move on to the next uh, step of the video. Now I must say I'm pretty impressed with uh, the build quality on this device and also the price point is pretty good as well. And if we can get these drives in and power it up with Unraid included, that is a paid bit of software that's coming included. Yes, it's the basic version, but it's still a nice bit of software. You can add do a lot with Unraid. You can populate this one as well. You don't have to populate all the drives right away. And again, once you're ready to go, you can put some power in, put your Ethernet cable in, and away we go. You've got a nice blue LED light inside here. It does look quite nice. Pretty sure you'll be able to turn that off if you want to. Uh, again, that is just going to show you the devices on and working. And let's get to the desktop. We're going to have to head over to the computer because we're going to log on via the network. So I'm going to head over to my computer now and we're going to go to Google and we're going to type up the top here, tower with a forward slash at the front of it. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And it should give us this actual Unraid login screen here. Now to log in first time, you need to put in here root and the password needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, you would need to change this because this is the default uh, username and password and it's advisable to change that immediately to give you a bit of security. But here we are, we're at the Unraid uh, desktop or dashboard, and you can see here, we can see here, we can set up our parity and also our drives here if we want to do that. We've got our tools, apps, and we've got a bunch of other stuff like Docker, plugins, settings, users, shares, and dashboard up the top there. And uh, let me quickly just show you the license here. Now, it is only a basic license, but you can upgrade here. You can see basic plus upgrade is $39 and a 12 attached storage devices. And if you need more, you can, but you can use the one that's come with it. If you don't plan to uh, upgrade, that's fine. Again, this is your dashboard, really nice looking dashboard. I do like uh, the look of this one here. It gives you all the information that you need about your device and what's going on on your network with all of the uh, plugins you may be plugged in there or users or even the shares that you've got going on. So let me take you through the top menu here so you can see basically what you've got here. On this dashboard, we've got the actual device, uptime, also registration, basic, and it tells us the model number here, the motherboard, it gives you all the motherboard uh, details here and the monitor that I've got plugged in over the other side of the room it gives us that information, it gives us the processor here and the CPU activity here as well. And you've got that little uh, squiggly line down there showing you the activity. We have our shares and users up on this dashboard here as well. We've got our parity here, which I need to set up and the array. And you can do that pretty straightforward here. You can set this up and it's quite a powerful uh, piece of software on RAID. And again, we've got our users here. This is where you would set your user new user account and you would change that root and password here this is where you change it on on your settings here you've got your all your information that you're going to need uh, for your nas is all set up inside here and a nice little panel here i do like unraid it really is a decent bit of kit and again let me go inside here and show you some of these settings here this is for your docker there you can see plugins we haven't got anything on here yet, but I'll show you quickly how to uh, put on a application and things like that, like Plex or something like that, just so you got an idea. And there we have our Docker. We haven't got this set up yet because we haven't got the array set up and we need to do all that. So you can install this as well. Let's quickly uh, do something here so you can quickly see. I'm going to quickly install this plugin here and you can see this is what you get once you click on that. Once it's done, it gives you the disclaimer here. I'm going to understand and understand again. And now it will give us access to all of the plugins and the community plugins as well. So you can search for pretty much anything you like in here. There's something for everyone to set up what you need. You've got backup, cloud, cryptocurrency, 
downloaders, drivers, you know, game servers, home automation, you name it, it's all inside here, just as you would with any other particular type of NAS. And we can set up here some media folder and set up a Plex folder and then go ahead and download Plex and get it set up so you can drop all your media inside them folders and watch all your own movies and stuff around your home. And again, you can share and back up stuff on this particular device anywhere in the world. It really is a decent bit of kit. So if you're looking for something that's very affordable and you don't want to splash the cash on one of the bigger brand names out there, then you can use something like this uh, LinkStation M1 uh, for all of your needs. It's going to be pretty much good enough to do everything you want it to do. And again, because it's a, a network attached storage, it's going to be all stored in your own home which means no one's going to get their grubby little hands on it. So all of your personal information and data is going to be stored inside your house or building or office. You can see here we've got this quickly set up here. And again, once you've done this, uh, you can go ahead and drop all your media in here. I'm not going to go through all that sort of stage. But yeah, once you've got that all set, it just goes to show you how quick and easy you can get these set up. And uh, once you've got this set up, you can plug put the plugins in that you need whether it will be something for your home network, your own security, maybe you've got security cameras around your home and you want to have monitoring software, you can do all that here. Home automation, uh, you can do that here as well. Let's just quickly open up the web app here uh, up the top. Just go web GUI. There we go. And it opens up the web GUI for the Plex. And there we go. It's that simple. So let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of this product. I think it's a pretty awesome product. Again, uh, Unraid might be a bit of a, a difficult one to get around for a lot of people. Uh, Synology and QNAP and things like that are very easy to uh, maneuver around and install stuff. Uh, this might be a little bit more involved. Uh, so this might be more for the advanced level of user. But let me know your thoughts and I'll be interested to read your comments. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.